Oh, I have to reload your game to get the gold card, I see. <laughs> 37 packs. Yeah. AT&T is being dedust. I mean, I'm not on a. I mean, my phone is on AT&T, but I'm not on my, on data. But maybe it has something to do with you know something I'm not aware of. Morning, guys. Job's done. Hey, Shilu. I think I remember you guys from Viking. It's pretty cool. Okay, contest this with ooh Doomsayer now. I feel like this is better. I actually have like so I have I have a good hand. I have a good curve uh, to like fight his board without Doomsayer. Maybe save it a little bit later here. The battle. He actually just hero powered anyways, so he has probably no two or three drop. Is Light Lord replaceable? I would replace it with second land hands. In fact, I'm not even sure what's better. Uh, I think maybe two land hands is even better than one land hands, one Light Lord. At least for the Murloc version, not not for the normal version of Nazoth Pally. He has four mana. Okay, I think True Silver is better here than Hero Power. Turn five, we can curve out with Peacekeeper and Hero Power here. Um, as far as like five health minions go, we still have this loot order to trade in too. Uh, what is this hand? He's he played Fiery Bat coin one. I mean turn one he played Fiery Bat and then from there on just nothing, like ever. Has a coin maybe saving for high main. Will you play No Man's Sky? I don't believe I'll stream it. I probably won't play it either. I mean, I actually saw it on Steam when I was looking around for games, but kind of doubt it. I think we go ahead and attack here. Get to cycle the card. I mean, we if we make another hero power two, it dies explosive anyways. Get this full heal out of the way. It costs a lot of mana. I can spend my mana this turn. I don't need a 1 1 to attack in a high main because I have the Peacekeeper. Follow the rule. Find if I roll need. Reporting for duty. Decent control hand with equality consecrate and Azoth. Hopefully, I cycle into some. An 8 drop would be really good. Or some more cycle cards. So do I wait one turn? Let's see, he has two death rattles for equality pyromancer. He has potential call the wild next turn. He didn't actually coin out call the wild either this turn, something to note. For justice. The battle reporting for duty. If I'm gonna do like a power turn for tempo, it might just be a turn nine, like for example, to drop a Doomsayer after an Equality Consecrate. Because if I can play the Doomsayer turn nine, turn ten, I can still play Nazoth if he has to pass that turn. Uh, technically, I'm not really getting anything from Nazoth, but. It's still better to play him than not. I mean, I get two loot hoarders. So, like, can you quality consecrate, doomsayer? I can also attack here, attack here first, then you quality consecrate, doomsayer. Quality consecrate, attack. attack. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, this makes more sense. Justice. 
I mean, technically, I'd rather save the... Like, Consecrate is a better card than Pyromancer, so I'd kind of rather have... Like, I'd rather have used Power Equality, but that means that I don't get to clear everything, because it would kill my Murloc. Meaning I can't use the Murloc to clear one of the uh, Death Rattles from Svanheim in. I just knew the cards. The two loot hoarders for the two cycle. Had a bad, uh, like, I guess, bad cycling hand. And this is why Consecrate's more valuable than Pyromancer. I mean, at least I, I still have the another Consecrate, so that's, that's good. I could equality consecrate and then clear everything, but I'd lose everything. I wonder. I must move quickly. Hey, give me that. Uh, I'm, I'm at 10. I could have healed to like say 14 instead of making this guy. I feel like I should be fine, not not dead. The Murlocs, I played one Bluegill Warrior, one Bluegill War Leader. Um, I've used all my AoE, like a bunch of AoEs, so I can't make a comeback after this turn. So it comes down to should I heal for like, heal the 28? If I heal the 16, he drops more things. I think I actually need to spend this turn to heal for 20. Uh, yeah, I think I need to spend this turn to heal for 20. It's also a consideration of Sylvanas heal for 8, but I don't, I don't think that's that great. Just so I can afford to play stuff next turn without worrying about dying. If I just put that in hands, I feel like I would still be worried about dying because I'm only healing for eight, so I'm healing for like 12 less. Nice of honest to play. How good is Pyromancer left? I can still, I guess I can still combo Pyromancer with land hands. A um, couple of things still. I don't have any more equalities or consecrates, I believe, for Pyromancer. So that Pyromancer activators are getting kind of thin. So I'm thinking of whether I should just play him for tempo or not. I have no time for games. For duty. I think it's getting too thin. Um, don't really have enough cards anymore for Power Mincer. I think I have to just play him now. doesn't even kill the Pyromancer. <clears throat> we have 9 damage. Let's, okay, so... This should be easy. Oops, not that one. Okay. I'm gonna steal the Flame Juggler and play the Bluegill Warrior as well this turn. Let none survive. This should set up for lethal next turn with uh, anything can happen because then I get two blue gills and one war leader, which is eight damage plus you know whatever whatever's on board. I have a decent shot at killing him. Depends on how much he clears. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plus eight is fifteen. I think yeah, that's that's good. Ooh, this is very weird because after he casts a spell, deal one damage. Okay, so eight. Um, I'm actually one off lethal. Oh no. So I have lethal anyways next turn. 
Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna have to slow and vigil here. And try to get Trissor Champion. I'm almost out of cards. For justice. If Paro killed the minion first, I, I would have lethal, right? But it would only summon one one warrior if I hit face first. You down. <laughs> One off lethal for him. It's worked out for me. It's not that the Pyro kills the two ones, like the Murlocs that spawn, because of the War Leader. It's the fact that I only get one Bluegill Warrior and one um, War Leader. I need two Bluegill Warriors to win. I mean, if I suicide my Bluegill Warrior before playing the anything, then yeah, I would get two. But I needed to hit face, not trade with this minion. So I, I don't have lethal by... Like, that's what I mean. Uther! Versus Malfurion! I must protect the one. I will fight with honor. Power of Conk for Ben Healing actually works much better, yeah. Because after Power Consecrated, we get 8-1 as 9-1 stealth or something. Feels like I'm not cycling. Uh, I don't know. It feels like I'm not cycling as much. The battle reporting for duty. The land serves me. The battle for duty. The battle. I wonder if I should Doomsayer this turn. I I, I don't think so because I have three one ones as well. It does mean that it's gonna. It, it's actually gonna be pretty hard to Doomsayer potentially because if you can play another minion, that's pretty much close to seven damage. I mean, I, I did have two Doomsayers as well. It's like it's definitely worth considering Doomsayering. scared to use the consecrate i mean if i get a quality i can still power quality but using consecrate against potential token druid is pretty painful there i have two peacekeepers though for if it's like a ramp druid. i'm not still, i'm still not sure if it's token or ramp uh i should be able to deal with some of the stuff with just the peacekeepers though follow the rule it actually might be time for me to doom sarah this turn I have two Doomsayers. If I save it here, uh, with spell power, you can clear my Peacekeeper and my 1-1 one, one very easily, and then I won't be able to Doomsayer any turn past this. Not easily, at least. Pay attention, class. I am ready to learn. Well, it actually seems like my deck is not running enough cycle now. May it took out too much cycle. I am ready to learn. I am ready to learn. I knew it. Last warning. Do you like to play with fire?
I actually like hero power the best here, not even Doomsayer, because we're actually getting kind of in a value war where I don't think I get, like, I, I think I want to use Doomsayer to bait out removal because we're kind of both low on cards. My hand is not very, like, cycle heavy either, can't afford to play inefficiently. So I think I have to drop Doomsayer into minion rather than play for tempo and make him pass his turn 10. If I make him pass turn 10, it's not, I don't think it really gets me anywhere with this hand. Okay. The battle. I can charge her four, so Behold the rage of the firelands. Uh oh. I might just have to fight my way through this board. It's not going to be pretty. Like Ragnaros or something. Ooh, interesting. That's all my Murlocs. I can set up my Murlocs for any fin. Let's see, I can play both War Leaders and then one charge for six. I can also charge for four plus four. Three, two, two, a hero power. Or Damus Area Vin. That's pretty good. I can kill Fandral. Or I can kill both the small guys. That's 9 damage. Fandral's only 5 damage. And then it sets up for any fin, which will be basically this combo again. Another 4 4 3. Must move quickly. Hopefully I can just grind my way through this, but it's like, I, I guess I can clear one more minion with any for next turn. It's still not even that good. If he leaves up the war leader, uh, that doesn't really change much. I mean, I can pump for five. It still doesn't do that much here. But I can play other stuff, so I might do that instead of anything. Because this trade is kind of useless. His hand is, what, a coin and then two random cards I didn't play? Mulch, maybe? Yog? Mulch Yog? Um, I probably play these two for Bin Healing. Let's see, if I hit him here, then I have 15, 18. I think I actually start hitting him in the face. I might be able to kill him next turn with anything. Yeah, I don't clear the- I don't even kill- like, I, I don't kill the Emperor, it's important thing, right? I mean, if I actually killed it, it'd be different, but it is like half trade. Pay attention, class. How much damage is that? Let me do some math here. I think it's lethal though. Um, two Blue Warriors is six each, 12. 12 plus six is 18, and then I get another plus. It's exact lethal. Right? 12 plus eight, yeah, 20. Exact lethal. 